Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is Brother John Tarot, here to do your December 23rd through the 30th messages. Um, I don't really have any channel messages for you, but um, we're going to pull one of these cards just to see what your overall energy is for the 23rd through the 30th, and then we'll pull some other tarot cards. Let's get one card for Pisces. What's their overall energy going to be like for the 23rd through the 30th of December? Oh. The Two of Pentacles. Wow. So possibly working on yourself or like working on you and your business or juggling. Uh, maybe you're juggling someone right here. You got the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the, the Empress on top of the deck. So the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're planning on leaving somebody out of something or you're trying to figure out if something's going to work out or you're you're looking maybe you're looking for something else or something like that because the five of pentacles usually talks about being left out in the cold and things like that but in this case it's like this person is is broke or is, is losing money <coughs> excuse me so possibly um you could cop could possibly just be trying to figure out a business plan or a business strategy, trying to come up with some more money or some more income. It is the holidays um, here. Um, I don't know. Let's see what you're facing. Oh, let me go cut my light back on. All right, what is Pisces facing right now? See what Pisces is facing right now. So what's Pisces facing right now? Well, we have the world card that came out. So you could be facing uh, the ending of a cycle, um, but the beginning of something brand new. So I feel like you're trying to figure out <coughs> what to what to do in this new situation, who to cut off or who to uh invest in and not invest in or what to invest in and what not to invest in um, because the world talks about moving on something brand new this could be like you just uh the world is at your feet type type thing so it's like you're looking out for yourself i feel like in, in a sense or you're trying to figure out what's going to be best for you um let's get another card Page of, page of Pentacles is here. Page of Pentacles is here. So this is like, yeah, you're definitely um, taking new offers. You're accepting, I feel like you're accepting applications or something like that. Maybe you need help in a business or something, or maybe somebody is, is going to offer you something in business or like some kind of new uh, job or something like that. Uh, while the hangman is on, underneath the deck, that's your, definitely your energy, Pisces. Uh, Let's see, what are you opposing here? Okay, so the Six of Cups. Maybe this is somebody from your past or something like that that's offering this. So maybe you're feeling like, no, I don't know. Or uh, maybe this is somebody from your past coming back to offer you something. Uh, someone feels like they, they can give to you or offer you. Or maybe uh, maybe they got some, some money to give you or something like that. Um, or whatever it is, somebody... Or, or maybe you, you, maybe this is you giving to someone. The energies could be fluent, so just know that. Um, let's see what the plan is. What is the plan here? <laughs> the Four of Swords. So I feel like you could be uh, really ingesting this. You, you could be really uh, trying to figure out things, or just trying to meditate and go within and see how you feel about the situation. How do you feel about? The, this offer, or how do you feel about moving on from this person, or how do you feel about taking offers from this particular person, or is it time to move on? I'm feeling like you're that's what you're juggling right here. You're juggling those two 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 things. Um, is this right for me? Type energy, uh, or what is right for me? Type energy. Let's see what the problem is. The sun, complete happiness. Or your kids could be the issue. 
or or your kids could be involved or something like that, or you could be pregnant or somebody could be pregnant and you're trying to figure out how am I going to offer, how am I going to give to these two situations, maybe you're already in a situation, how am I going to give to these two situations and be happy, right? Or how am I going to, how, how can I be happy? Let's see what the root of the issue is. You could be dealing with a, a, a Leo here. Let's see. The root of the issue is the page of, I mean, the five of swords. So winning at all costs. So, um, wow, that's one more of four of swords, five of swords. So this is definitely like um, you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure out how you can be happier, possibly. How can you, how can you be happier in life? Wow, the two of wands is underneath the deck and the will of fortune. And then we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely trying to manifest something for yourself. How can you how can you set yourself up for business for the future? How can you um invest in yourself or, or with yeah, or something like that? This is good. This is another good reading I've gotten. Thank y'all. <sighs> we uh you have two major arcana, so we're gonna clarify those. And pull some more some more messages. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like you're trying to uh, manifest something good for yourself, something something brand new that you're starting, um, possibly after ending something. So for the world, wow! Look, the Ace of Pentacles is there. Definitely starting something brand new with this World card and the Ace of Pentacles. That gives me the same type of energy, doesn't that? With the with the the um, Pentacle that they're holding. And then the world card that I feel like the world is your pentacle. So I feel like you have a new uh, business offer or something like that. Somebody's definitely trying to offer you some something brand new. Um, they're coming in to do this. Uh, let's get one for the sun card. Why is the sun card here? Ten of wands. So this could talk about burning some and in, in stressful things. But this is talk, also talking about moving on and building with what you have. So I, I'm feeling like... You're trying to um, build something with what you have already or trying to turn your what you have already into some sort of business or some sort of money, it seems like. Wow, the, the title card is underneath the deck. So this is definitely something that you are um, that is written or something that is destined, destined to happen for you. Uh, the Knight of Cups is on top of the deck. Um, definitely somebody coming in, like I said, to offer you some sort of stability this is a possibly a contract maybe you're moving into a new place or something like that or maybe you're moving across the world i feel like you're moving across the world or um uh, mo moving somewhere brand new with someone they possibly to the country or something like that yeah so this could also talk about um a business of some sort like i said some sort of business or some sort of a new plan or something that, is, that has a contract attached to it or uh, that has that is stable. This is stable energy I'm picking up. Uh -uh. Let's get let's get one one card for here. So uh, we have balance. Balance is here. And this says, time is ticking. Yes, yeah, so I'm feeling like you're trying to balance yourself out or something, like trying to make up a, a new business or some sort. Um, this says prioritize. Yes, these are definitely things you need to be doing right now. It's prioritizing. Wow, this says Roger that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get some of these messages. It says no. Wow, that came out in everybody's reading. <laughs> this says compromise. Let's get one more. Well, well, we got two more. Wow, these are two odd ones. We have snow and then we have summer. So I'm feeling like things could be happening. Could have happened last year or something like that or... Uh, you, you're. I feel like you... These are two different seasons. So I feel like you're evaluating how you spent your time during these two seasons and if they got you you know some type of success or not you know what i'm saying or yeah maybe that's what you're uh, comparing yourself or something like that too underneath the deck it says slander 
or conversation or gossip. Um, let's see. Let's get, we're going to get some of these. This is an alphabet deck. So we're just going to see what they have to spell out. Let's see. I, have, I usually get 46 um, cards because, yeah, words are usually four to six. That's a lot. We got Q for quail. We have a R for rabbit, but just Libra energy. We have another Q for Leo Virgo energy, Q queen. Uh, we have an X, which talks about self-reflection, but it's like your X-ray. Uh, let's see. Let's get two more. We have C for cactus, which is Scorpio energy. And then we have a G for goat, which is Capricorn energy. Not too sure. I can't really spell out anything, but maybe these letters are significant, or maybe these signs, these uh, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, maybe you're dealing with one of those. Or uh, Scorpio, we're always underneath the deck. Scorpio energy. Uh, let's see. Let's get a question. This says, what is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? Wow. I'm feeling like definitely this is what you're thinking about. Maybe this this, this is what this person looks like he's thinking about or she's thinking about on here. It's just like, what, what is the worst that could happen if I let go of things that no longer serve me? This is definitely what this person, this, this, whoever, whatever this shit is on here. It's Fox is saying. Uh, this says... What have been the most defining moments that have helped shape my life? Yeah, this is a lot of reflection is, is going on here. You're definitely reflecting on uh, things that you invested in and, and, you know, what have they gotten you? You know, how far have they gotten you in life or have they improved your life in some, some sort of way? Um, let's see. Let's get one of these cards and then we'll end the reading. All right, so give me the most important message that Pisces needs to hear right now. Give me the most important message, Pisces. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So, yeah, I feel like if, if you are letting someone go, I feel like, you know, uh, don't feel like you're alone. You know, sometimes when, we're, when we are alone, alone and loneliness are two different things. Alone means I like, I can be alone, I can... I can be by myself. I'm comfortable uh, with doing things on my own, right? Loneliness talks about, um, you know, feeling like you have to have somebody. So don't feel like you have to have somebody right now. Even if it is the holidays, even if it is the this, this scene, like you're letting things go around the holidays, just know that you're not alone, okay? You're never alone. Being alone is actually one of the best things for you, Okay. Wow, underneath the deck, it says peace. It says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. This is exactly what you need to do right now. Release all negative energy, release all those thoughts that aren't uh, getting you anywhere or, or gaining you some so sort of positive uh, action in your life. And just worry about yourself. Go back to the things that you value. Do things that you value. Do, do, spend time with yourself. Do things that you want to do. And this will definitely bring you some sort of peace and happiness, I'm feeling like. Because um, what's the worst that could happen if you let go of things that no longer serve you? You'll be happier, right? I'm hoping so. But hopefully this helped you all out. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy birthday to y'all. Um, hopefully this uh, helped you out in some type of way. And thank y'all for tuning in.